19th occurred in many places across the country. And in three of those places, Milwaukee, Austin, Texas, and Syracuse, New York, violence broke out. In Syracuse, two people were stabbed, and police closed down the Juneteenth Festival early. In Austin, 40-year-old David Morales was beaten to death by as many as 20 men after a vehicle in which he was riding struck and injured a young girl. And in Milwaukee, another man was pulled from a car and beaten by a mob. A police officer was also injured in that fracas. Now, some are charging the media has not widely covered the Juneteenth crimes. Joining us now from Portland, Oregon, is OPO Sokoni, a radio talk show host at KBMS. And from Los Angeles, Tammy Bruce, also a syndicated radio host and Fox News analyst. All right, Tammy, begin with you. Here's the roster of national coverage of the, of the three incidents. Um, the Seattle Post Intelligencer ran a story on Milwaukee, just Milwaukee. The New York Times and Washington Post ran brief stories on Austin. And USA Today ran a little bit of AP copy. That was it. We didn't see anything on the network news at all. Conspiracy, Tammy? Well, I think that there is, of course, even now with the president calling Americans racist, and the idea, of course, it's the ultimate personal destroyers when that word is used. And as a result, we've all become cautious in addressing issues that affect Americans who happen to be black. Uh, we, we're not quite sure what to do. People are hesitant at the same time. Uh, we have other festivals in the, the month of June, the, the Gay Pride Festivals, as an example. And if similar violence broke out in a series of those festivals, you would hear it covered widely and it would be uh, worthy of covering because it would be shocking. I see this as being an issue of the fact that the more we don't look at these issues, the more we don't address what concerns the inner city. This is not about the fact that uh, Americans who happen to be black are violent. It's about issues of despair in the inner city and the fact that we usually do turn away from it, just like with New Orleans and Katrina. People were shocked at the situation in New Orleans. It's because we had been told by special interest groups that it was none of our business, that if you didn't have the same complexion as the people affected, uh, it, you should say nothing. And I think now as Americans, we have a duty to address it because this doesn't happen at every festival. It doesn't happen at gay pride festivals with similar dynamics. Uh, and I think we should address it. Not doing so uh, is uh, the racism that we should be facing. All right, Mr. Ciccone, what say you? It's, I think is absolutely nuts. There are no dirt or there's no a small amount of negative media images against African Americans. And at the gay pop parade, you, there are a lot of indecent activities like people exposing themselves to children. You don't hear a lot of that in the news because it doesn't represent all the gay people. But what she's trying to do is trying to polarize black people on a uh, celebration that's really important to this country, which is Juneteenth, the end all of right. slavery, but, but, which but I think is... Let, let, let me walk through this with you because I'm interested in Miss, Mr. Ciccone very much. You have a situation in Austin, Texas, where a man is beaten to death by 20 African Americans. Now, um, it happened on the grounds of the Juneteenth... Um, uh, celebration, and it is a horrifying, horrifying situation. It's like the Reginald Denny. Remember that in the in the L.A. riots when he was pulled out of the truck and the guy hit him with the concrete and all of that. I mean, it's just horrible. This guy Morales, I mean, he was involved in an accident and now he's dead. You don't think that First warrants of all, national coverage? Well, it, I, it's got national coverage. No, it has absolutely. It, it, it has got any. Well, you this just is the went first over time on national the, television. Well, you and I know about it. We get our news uh, differently now through the Internet, and it's on the uh, Internet. No, no, no. But, I'm talking you know, about the big the, established There were not five people, Bill. Hold on, Bill. There were not, there, there were two to 3,000 people at the event in Texas. Now, there were five people that were involved in that. You're saying 20. And the police officers themselves said it was away from the Juneteenth celebrations. And see, uh, we never want to talk about I, don't, I can't adjudicate uh, the case fought. now, but I can say there were three horrendous incidents attached to this celebration. Now, look. They're thugs and thugs. And there are many, there, that, there are many, there are many that's going to happen on 4th of July. On the 4th of July, no, there will be many more, I, I promise you. It won't. Uh, I mean, look, every 4th of July, we're here, we see the wires, and they don't come over with people being... And there's violence happening. Every 4th of July, I mean, you look at the celebrations of college and university where they turn over police cars when they win the championship. It you know, there are a lot of different rarely. violence. But when, it, when black people are violent, then it has to be some big deal. All right. Now, Tammy... Um, do you believe that this is the, uh, a conscience decision made by the national media? Or is it just it's not important enough, a guy in Austin getting pulled out of a car beaten to death, a guy in Milwaukee getting beaten up, and uh, two people stabbed in Syracuse? Eh, it's not important. I think what we've just heard is uh, the kind of homophobia and racism that has driven the American media to be too afraid to cover issues 
that would shed light on things that would actually help Americans help the inner city and the black community. To suggest that this isn't a big deal, that we shouldn't look at it, is what further isolates communities, when in fact, you know, uh, it, the, su the suggestion that at the gay pride parades, uh, homosexuals are exposing themselves to children, we just don't hear about no, it. No, that happens that, sometimes, Tam. Well, particularly but, in San just Francisco, just a minute, you know just what a minute. happens. I think I've been to a few more than, than you or your other well, guests. Well, we have video I, on tape, Tammy, the, so there the, you the, go. The, the, the issue is, I'm not saying that there isn't wild behavior, but the issue is it is discussed. And, and the bottom line is, in this instance, what you just heard uh, is essentially an intimidating framework that says you're being a racist if you discuss violence in the black community. And if we don't discuss it is, what, is when we abandon those communities and when young All people, right. especially involved in these kinds of acts, feel as though there's no hope. I didn't That's think, Mr. We're not supposed to talk about pedophilia in the, in the great oh, gay community? Oh, we're not supposed to talk oh, about please. pedophilia? Oh, All right. oh, Let's, that, that's for another oh, yeah, time. No, I don't enough. believe there's fit any link between gayness Turn and... Turn off channel zero. That's, okay, that's it. That's it. That speaks to it, doesn't it? Turn off channel zero. All Turn right. off channel zero. Thank you very much. I don't believe there's any linkage between homosexuality and pedophilia, but I do believe the media does bury stories.